Hello, oh, Steve White, Steve White 39 here. Well, I had to comment on this one. I thought I was done making videos for today, but this just made my jaw drop. Um, <clears throat> this is in Metro. Um, <sighs> Joe Hill, Stephen King's son. Um, he is a writer as well. He did a wrote a very successful comic series, which has been made into a Netflix series. Uh, it's called Lock and Key. Um, <clears throat> he always liked Doctor Who and he wanted to write for Doctor Who and he got the opportunity to write a couple of story proposals. Uh, I think he wrote up three and he sent them in and the response he got back was disgusting. They said, we've never let an American write Doctor Who and if we were, we wouldn't start with you. I'm all, oh, I, I, oh my God, I can't believe that was their response to him. Um, that's just rude, insulting, unnecessary, um, and just offensive. Um, okay, I'm not an American, but I'm not a Brit. It's, I guess they just think they're better than everyone. Um, that's sort of uh, the stereotype of them. I guess it's true in the writer's room at Doctor Who. That would explain why the show is going down the toilet, because the people running it are assholes. I mean, I can't believe that. They would be lucky to have someone like him write for their show because their show is just going down the toilet. Um, all they're writing about is um, political issues. Every episode is set on Earth or some version of Earth. Um, there's nothing about the old Doctor Who that you can see in the new show from what I hear. I haven't been watching every episode and I'm not a big Doctor Who fan. I haven't been watching the show my whole life. I've just seen a few seasons of the show. But I know what the show is. I know what makes the show good, I know what I enjoyed about the show, I know what drew me to it for the first few years of um, its comeback. And I just can't believe that they would act like that. But I mean, I can believe because their attitude is, well, even though the show's going down the toilet, the fans aren't liking it, everyone's hating it, all, all people are doing is criticising it, we're not going to listen to that, we're just going to do what we want because it's about us. It's about us and what we want to say, what we believe, our agenda, and not what the show should be about, or what the fans want, or the audience wants, or it's just, I just couldn't believe that when I heard that. Um, and that was from, he, he said that's what they said. Um, and I can't believe he would make something up like that, that's so insulting and embarrassing and humiliating as a writer and artist, to have someone say something like that and treat you like that. I can't believe he'd make that up. I can't see any reason for him to make that up. Um, so I guess they must have said that, and I just, I'm just shocked by that. My mouth just dropped open and I'm like, I wish I had read that article while making like a video and, and got that reaction on film because it was, I saw myself reflected in um, my screen for a second and I'm like, close your mouth, you look stupid. But I just was like sitting there for like a minute like that because I just couldn't believe that they said that to any writer. I mean, what is their issue with him? Is it just because he's American? Um, did they feel like because he was Stephen King's son he felt entitled or something or they didn't maybe it was pushed on them they didn't want to actually look at the the, the proposals or anything um, I, I mean that was just brutal um, or savage as he said uh, <laughs> um, but yeah I, I'm uh, the, the show is struggling at the moment they have the wrong idea and they are just um, doubling down and just going with it, and the ratings are going down and down each week. Uh, people have been saying that they've had the lowest ratings since 1986, but the last season actually was lower than um, 86. But they're getting down to where they were before they brought... Because the whole thing was, oh, we've got an old male doctor, and oh, no one cares, let's, let's modernise the show, and we'll have a woke show with a female um, doctor, and we'll deal with all, you know, current political issues that... Um, you know, everyone's talking about, and the Twitterverse, and the Instagram people are all going on about, um, and that'll be, you know, that, that'll revitalise the show, and for a short time it did, there was, I think, the novelty factor of everyone checking, going in to check out, oh, who's the new Doctor, who's the new Doctor, what's, what's a female Doctor look like, what's that, how does that work, and that novelty lasted for a little while, but when the writing wasn't good, and the episodes weren't fun, and people just stopped enjoying it, because it was just week after week of Earth-based preachy, men are bad, white men are bad, um, just that. That's not really Dr. 
Doctor Who. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's I'm not I'm just this this just speaks to that mentality, um, and I'm just so offended on behalf of him, <laughs> and shocked, and I'm like I have to say something because I haven't had much to say about Doctor Who because I don't. I'm going to do a bit of research. I really want to learn a bit more about the actual um, history of the show. But, um, wow. We, had, we have never let an American write for Doctor Who, and if we were going to, we wouldn't start with you. Wow. What a bunch of assholes. He's better off with Netflix working on his series, and I wish all the best to him. And I really, really am quite fine with Doctor Who going down the toilet if these people get outed and the people that they bring in for the next revi revi revitalized um, version of the show um, like are actual human beings. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm done. Feel free to share, comment, like, um, tell me what you think or if I'm wrong about any Doctor Who stuff, if you think these people are brilliant for some reason, feel free to let me know how wrong I am. <laughs> Thanks, bye.